April 10, 2019, the day when entire world was shocked with the first ever picture of a black hole taken by Event Horizon, telescope also known as EHT Project, which is designed to capture radio waves at millimeter and submillimeter wavelengths of light, which are ideal for studying the hot gas surrounding black holes. The EHT is not designed to capture other types of light, such as visible light or X-rays. The EHT project involves telescopes located in Hawaii, Arizona, Mexico, Spain, Chile, and Antarctica. The telescopes were chosen for their ability to observe at the required wavelengths, as well as for their location and accessibility. The EHT project was able to use the rotation of the Earth to its advantage, observing the black hole in Messier 87 for several days in a row from different locations around the world. This EHT project works together to create a virtual telescope the size of the Earth. Yes, you heard me right. The size of the Earth, the EHT project used a technique called interferometry to combine the data from the individual telescopes to create a high-resolution image of the supermassive black hole at the center of the galaxy Messier 87, or M87. The black hole in M87 is located about 55 million light years away from Earth, and it has a mass equivalent to about 6.5 billion times that of the Sun. The image shows a bright ring of hot gas swirling around black hole's event horizon, which is the point of no return beyond which nothing, not even light, can escape. So this means that the light in the picture we are able to see today was actually traveling for 55 million years. That's insane. 55 million years ago, during the Eocene epoch of the Paleogene period, the Earth was a very different place than it is today. The climate was much warmer than it is now, with no ice at the poles and a tropical climate extending far north and south of the equator. The continents were arranged differently than they are now, with the early stages of the separation of South America and Africa and the formation of the Himalayan mountains had not yet begun. During this time, mammals began to diversify and evolve rapidly with the first primates appearing in the fossil record. The earth was also populated by a variety of other animals, including early horses, deer and rodents, as well as many species of birds, birds and reptiles. The oceans were home to many species of whales, dolphins and sharks, as well as a variety of fish and invertebrates. But the concept of black hole developed much earlier than they were seen. The concept of a black hole was first proposed by the physicist John Michel in 1783. Michel suggested that there could be objects in space with so much mass and gravitational pull that not even light could escape from them. He called these objects dark stars. However, it was not until the early 20th century that the idea of a black hole, as we know it today, began to take shape. In 1915, Albert Einstein developed his theory of general relativity, which described gravity as the curvature of space, time caused by the presence of mass and energy. This theory allowed for the possibility of objects with such extreme mass and gravity that they could warp space-time to such an extent that not even light could escape. In the 1930s, Subramanian Chandrasekha, a young Indian astrophysicist, showed that there was a limit to how massive a star could be before it collapsed under its own gravity. This limit, known as the Chandrasekha limit, is approximately 1.4 times the mass of the Sun. Stars that exceed this limit will collapse into a black hole. In the 1960s, the American physicist John Wheeler coined the term black hole to describe these objects, 
Wheeler also developed the concept of the event horizon, which is the boundary around a black hole beyond which not even light can escape. Let's consider for a minute that you got all the superpowers and you go out, remove all the black holes. What will happen next? How will this universe be like? Black holes play an important role in the universe. They are responsible for shaping the structure and evolution of galaxies by affecting the orbits of stars and gas in their vicinity. They also produce intense radiation and energy as they consume matter which can be detected by telescopes and used to study the properties of the universe. If all the black holes were suddenly removed from the universe, it would have significant consequences. First, the structure and evolution of galaxies would be affected as the gravitational influence of black holes on nearby stars and gas would no longer be present. This could lead to the disruption of some galaxies and the formation of new ones. Second, the intense radiation and energy emitted by black holes would no longer be present, which would affect the overall energy balance of the universe. This could have an impact on the formation and evolution of stars, as well as the large-scale structure of the universe. Finally, the removal of all black holes would have an impact on the study of astronomy and astrophysics. Black holes are important objects for studying the properties of gravity and the laws of physics in extreme environments. Without them, we would lose an important tool for understanding the universe. So the next time when you are worried about your favorite iPhone or skates, just remember, this is your home, the Earth, and it is very, very small. You are even smaller. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you found some new information. Have a great day.